Cigarettes are highly addicting, but why is it that some people who try cigarettes can put them down and never get addicted, while others get hooked right away? The answer lies in how your brain responds to nicotine. More on the anatomy of addiction from Mayo Clinic. A few puffs is all it takes for some people to become addicted to cigarettes. And then there are people like Uncle Charlie. And everyone knows an Uncle Charlie. Uncle Charlie was basically a, not a very productive person, couldn't hold a job, was married six times, smoked a pack of cigarettes a day for 25 years, and one day decided to stop smoking, and he did. Didn't have a withdrawal symptom, didn't use any medication. So for the addicted smoker, they look at an Uncle Charlie and say, well, you know, if he could do that and I can't, there must be something wrong with me. And the reality is there's not something wrong with the person. Their brain has been altered because of smoking cigarettes. Dr. Richard Hurt heads the Center for Tobacco-Free Living. He says your chances of becoming addicted to cigarettes hinge on genetics, on how your brain responds to nicotine. It only takes about five heartbeats for nicotine to go from the cigarette to your brain. For many people, it stimulates receptors that release dopamine and cause the pleasure response. Over time, the receptors increase in number and change the anatomy of the brain. So when you try to quit smoking, you cut off the pleasure response because you're depriving the receptors of nicotine. Then they object to that with withdrawal symptoms. Irritability, anxiety, the inability to concentrate. If you make it through withdrawal and quit smoking, the number of nicotine receptors reduces to normal but they don't forget what that all felt like. So a smoker may have stopped smoking for six months and then be in a situation where they normally would smoke again and the receptors say, you know, used to be when I would be in that situation, I'd have a cigarette, so I want a cigarette right this minute. Such urges can last for years after quitting, but Dr. Hurt says medications such as the nicotine patch or other non-nicotine prescription medications plus counseling can help smokers gain control over their addiction and move forward into a healthier, smoke-free life. If you want to quit, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW for help. For more information about quitting smoking or Mayo Clinic Center for Tobacco-Free Living, visit our website at www.mayoclinic.org. I'm Vivian Williams.